Uh, well, let's now bring in Bloomberg Zachary Miter. He co-wrote this story. And Zach, this is some incredible reporting, great details, including this uh, spotting of the uh, Hershey Trust CEO by the Hershey CEO um, uh, in a hotel. What ultimately do we get as a, as a takeaway from this? That if you're dealing with a CEO and a charitable trust, it is a very challenging situation. That's right, and uh, Hershey's been in this pickle uh, many times in the past. As you may recall, they put the company up for sale in 2002, and then at the last minute, the trust reversed course and decided not to sell it. And and uh, a similar thing happened in 2007, where there was conflict between the trust and the and the company. So does this just remain a bitter relationship then within Hershey? I mean, what happens next in this company? Are they just going to keep feuding? That's a great question. The the board of Hershey. Uh, has, has many times expressed his confidence in the current CEO, David West, uh, but the trust controls 80%, uh, about 80% of the voting power of the company, and uh, they clearly weren't, weren't happy with the outcome here. Uh, so it's an open question of what happens next. You know, the flip side to this, and Zach, I know you know this story well, is that some say had Hershey hypothetically gone ahead and done a deal like this and taken on a lot of debt, boy, would this have changed that company's culture. And you could argue there would have been plenty of people who have said, would have said that would have been Hershey's downfall. That's right. And, you know, Hershey is, uh, is a company that's been based in Hershey, Pennsylvania, a small town in, in uh, rural Pennsylvania for 100 years. And, uh, and there were certainly those inside Hershey who argued that it was just too big of a change to take on at this time. So, I mean, does Hershey just want to remain then a small town in Pennsylvania? Well, Hershey wants to try to find a way to become a global company. They get about 86% of their revenue from the U.S. right now, and they need to do something to change that. Uh, but uh, but it, did, it didn't turn out to be Cadbury. All right, so who, who else could Hershey potentially pair with? Well, they they could they could try to do what they've what they've done in the past, which is make small acquisitions of companies overseas. That hasn't turned out to be a, a really successful strategy for them yet. Um, there's also the possibility that someone like Nestle could come in and buy them, but for that to happen, the trust would have to agree to to finally sell the company, which they've refused to do so far. Zach, ultimately, if you're a shareholder in a company that has this kind of structure, what is the takeaway here? Well, there's an extra risk in buying Hershey stock that you don't get from a typical public company because even though you, you know, might you worry about the hassle factor right, basically you, even though you own uh, a, a big percentage of the stock you don't really have as much of a voice in the in the management of the company uh, as you would in, in most situations all right Zach.